Today's tutorial is about equilateral and isosceles triangles. Let's begin talking about equilateral triangles. An equilateral triangle is a triangle that has three congruent sides. So for example, we've drawn triangle PQR. You can tell that side PQ is the same length as side QR, which is the same length as side PR because they're all congruent, as shown by the red congruency tick marks. What that means for you is that if one side had, let's say, a side length of 2x, and another side had a side length of 10, well then you could solve by x by treating this as a simple algebra problem. You could set 2x equal to 10 and solve for x. We could divide by 2 on both sides, and get x equals 5. You know that you can do this because those two sides are congruent to each other because it's an equilateral triangle, all sides being congruent. Now another important aspect of equilateral triangles is that all three angles in an equilateral triangle are equal. So every equilateral triangle is also equiangular. So again, you could treat this like the previous statement in the equilateral triangle. Let's say that angle P had a measurement of 2x degrees and angle R had a measurement of 60 degrees. Well because you know that those two angles are congruent you could set them equal to each other. 2x is equal to 60 degrees. You could divide by 2 again, divide by 2 and get x equals 30 degrees. That would tell you that for any other x in the problem you would plug in 30 degrees. That's one way that you might see these problems written out. Now another important triangle would be the isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two congruent sides. And by having two congruent sides it also has two congruent angles. So for example, the triangle that we've drawn here is triangle ABC. You can see that side AB is congruent to side AC. What that means is that the angle directly across from each of those sides is also congruent. So the angle C that is across from AB must be congruent to angle B which is across from side AC. So you might see this in typical algebra problems as we've seen in the previous problems for equilateral triangles. So let's say that this side was maybe 5x and this side over here had a segment length of 40. You would again just set them equal to each other. 5x is equal to 40 degrees. You'd divide by 5 on the left to get your x alone and you'd get x is equal to 8 degrees. Now, what if you knew that angle B was equal to 50 degrees and angle C was equal to 5x degrees? Well, you could just set those equal again. 50 is equal to 5x. Divide both sides by 5 to get the x alone, and you'd have 10 is equal to x. So that you could see that angle C, 5 times x, would be 50, and both those angles would be congruent. Those are the important aspects of equilateral, equiangular, and isosceles triangles.